Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a cell editable based on another cell in Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's get started. Take a look at this workbook here. In column A, I have a question and in column B, I have another question. But I want to make the cell B2 locked all the time unless someone writes here yes or no. Okay. So in cell A2, we must write yes or no, and also it cannot be blank. If someone writes here yes or no, then cell B2 will be unlocked or editable. Okay. So this is our task today, and this is what I am going to do it. I'm going to use the protect sheet feature and also a little bit of VBA to solve this problem. So first we need to select the enter worksheet and then right click and select format cells. Okay. From the protection tab, I'm going to uncheck locked. Okay. Now I'm going to click OK. And now I want to select the cell B2, which I want to make editable based on cell A2. Okay. So I'm going to select only the cell B2 and right click here then format cell from the protection tab I'm going to select locked okay and then I'm going to click on okay. So what happens here uh, if I protect this workbook this single cell will be locked and everything will be unlocked okay. So I'm going to click on the review tab and click here protect sheet and then I'm going to write a password here I'm going to write the password 1 to 6. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to repeat the password and click OK. So the password to unprotect worksheet is 123456. Okay, this password will be used inside the VBA. So whatever password you write here, you must change that in the VBA code. Okay, so the first part of our task is complete. So if I write here anything, I cannot write, but if I write somewhere else I can write anything so it's because we have locked this cell but whenever someone writes here yes or no this cell will be unlocked okay for that part I'm going to write a VBA so I'm going to right click here and click on view code okay let's minimize this here our worksheet name is sheet 1 you must remember it okay and now I'm going to write the code. I have already written it. I am pasting it here. If you want the code, check the link in the description where you'll find a link to this code and you can copy it from there. Okay. So here in this code, it will activate whenever someone writes something in cell A2. And now here we have two conditions. If the cell A2 value is yes or no, then we have a message box and also we are going to unprotect the worksheet. Here we must write the worksheet name, worksheet sheet one, okay? Because we are working on the first worksheet, okay? Here this line will unprotect the worksheet where our password will be one to six. So remember when you protect your worksheet, we use the same password. If you change the password there, you must write it here accordingly, okay? If the target value is yes or no, then we can write it. If the target value is blank, we cannot write it, okay? So this is the code and I'm going to close the VVE. And if I write something here, let's say I want to write a random text. I have a message box, target cell must have data yes or no to fill B2. If I remove it, target cell must have data yes or no to fill B2. Same message. And also, if I clicked OK, then I have another message box saying target cell can't be blank. So if I write here yes, now you can fill B2. If I click OK, our selection will be in cell B2 and I can write here. And you can see it becomes editable. So let's delete it again and remove this again. And now here I want to write no. And you can see I will be able to write here again. So here we can write in cell B2 only if our cell 
a2 value is either yes or no otherwise we cannot write anything in cell b2 this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe and also remember if you want to use this frequently you must save this workbook as .xlsm workbook okay so which is excel macro enabled workbook for that click on the file tab click on save as select your location and from here this drop down select excel macro enable workbook and then click save okay so in the name you can see we have dot excel sm format this is what i want so from now on if someone opens this workbook he or she will only be able to write in cell b2 if they have value in cell a2 which must be either yes or no thank you thanks for watching